Hello and welcome. My name is Lambert2191 and today we're going to be playing a bit of Europa Universalis 4 using the Shattered Europa 2 mod. Now the mod is just in beta right now but it's uh, looking pretty feature complete in my opinion. I'm also going to be using the Idea Variation mod and of course the Shattered Europa add-on along with a bunch of uh, cosmetic mods and some quality of life mods but nothing too uh, game breaking or changing the game in any way. So, let's get into this. We are going to be playing with the Shattered HRE time slot, um, which basically means the, the HRE is pretty much fucked. Um, with uh, this many small nations, I want them to be comfortable with attacking each other and taking land from each other. And I feel if the HRE exists, they generally won't do that, so we're going to play with Shattered HRE. And we're going to be playing as York. Now, the ideas start off strong and kind of taper towards the end. Uh, we start with National Manpower Modifier and Available Mercenaries, which is... Manpower is nice. Then we get Mercenary Maintenance minus 25%, which I absolutely adore. I use quite a lot of mercenaries in my gameplay. Uh, cavalry Cost minus 20% is pretty powerful, but I'm not too sure how much value I'm going to get out of this, to be honest. Uh, morale of armies plus 10% is absolutely fantastic, as is National Unrest minus 2. And Justified Demands minus 20% is also great. And then the two meh ones are Income, com eh. income from Vassals plus 30%. I don't tend to really notice the income I get from Vassals. It's not really something I really value all that highly. And Stability Cost Modifier minus 20% is nice, but again... I can deal without it. So, let's get into this. We're playing York. Uh, we're going to be playing on Iron Man mode without Lucky Nations, as I despise the mechanic. And I guess we're going to save over my test game, which is fine by me. Now, it does take uh, quite some time to get into this sometimes, so I'm going to explain my dislike for Lucky Nations. A little bit. I'm not going to go too deep into it because there's quite a lot to say. Basically, I think it's very railroady. Uh, it's trying to make nations lucky in ways that I don't think really apply. The modifiers don't really represent the historical reasons why those countries were quote unquote lucky. Um, yeah, other than that, um, I just dislike the mechanic. I find it quite lazy, to be honest. But enough of that, we should be getting into the game right now. There we go. Okay, first things first, let's check out our rivals. Scotland, Wales, and Northumberland. Um, I kind of want Lancaster to be one of my rivals, because you get a... It's faster to build up your uh, spy network in them, and I think that's quite important, especially to, I want to get Darby and Warwick right off the bat, as they're both a part of my... Uh, states. So with that in mind we are going to go with Lancaster, Northumberland, and for the third I'm thinking maybe we go with Scotland? We could also go with Wessex. Or maybe I could use Wessex as a temporary alliance. Maybe we just go Wales. Wales generally tend to align with uh, Lancaster in my test games. This is uh, usually quite a strong alliance. Um, I am going to leave it for now. Okay, our mission. Save the English people in Warwick. Of course, because your primary culture is actually Northumbrian. It'd be nice if all of the cultures were split, because Northumbrian is technically English as well. Um, if we check the culture map mode, which I believe I've got under here, there we go, we've got uh, English, English, English all down here, then we've got Northumbrian here, and then we've got Scottish. This is British Old, oh, this is Old English, interesting. That's added by the mod. 
and then we've got the Welsh, we've got the Cornish, and the Bren. Uh, okay, so they've had Alba. Uh, the Highlander culture is the same as Irish. I guess this is all completely Irish. Yes, it is. Okay, enough of culture. Let's see about our merchants. Uh, we are collecting in the English Channel and we've got transference from Lubeck. I think that's fine for now. We've got very little power in Lubeck. Perhaps when we take over Lancaster we can uh, switch to using the Irish Sea trade node. I find this trade node to be way too big. Um, I mean, if you count the provinces, there are an equal amount of English provinces in the Irish Sea trade node as there are in the English Channel trade node, which I find kind of ridiculous. It's, uh, yeah, it's way too powerful. But regardless, um, we're going to leave our merchants as they are. I'm just going to get our trade fleet to go on a mission to protect the trade in the English Channel. Let's see, um, we can fit two more boats in there, so I think we're going to. And as for our force limit, we are three below. Hmm. That would make me, if I get go with cavalry, I would have a 8-4, kind of on the limit. And it's a bit expensive, so I'm just going to go with three extra infantry. We do start with a general. Um, it is our leader, Richard Plantagenet, and he's a pretty decent leader. The four shock is really good. I believe Lancaster also start with a leader though, which is unfortunate. Right, I think that is enough set up. Uh, actually, first I want to send my spy to build a spy network up here, and I guess we're going to go with Durham as well. Durham, in the test games I've had, have always aligned themselves with Lancaster. I've had about three to four test games. They've always, always, every time, aligned themselves with Lancaster. So we could go do a sneaky war attacking Durham, and then in it we'll take these two. Um, without further ado, unpause. That's not too bad. Almost eight minutes and I've unpaused. Could be worse. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take any of these, but shock damage, that would be very nice. Um, Diplo reputation might be good. Uh, yearly inflation reduction I like, but it's not necessary at this point in the game. Um, the nobles demand the old rights. I'm going to go with the lesser of two evils. And Wessex, who are you rivaled with? You are rivaled with Wales, London, and Cornwall. Hmm. I'd use them as a temporary alliance to get my hands on London. Especially with London being the highest development province in uh, in this region. They'll of course want the, the province too. Or I could align myself with London against Wessex. Hmm. No, I'm going to go with Wessex. And London also want one, but they're not going to want one now. Okay. That's fine. Did I perhaps recruit a regiment after the bark? Yes, I did. That's stupid. Okay, that's irrelevant. Um build him. I may as well build him here. Landers want an alliance. You've got quite the navy. 9 and 7. You've got 16 boats. That's more than I have. Uh, but you are on the continent. Do I really want to get involved in continental politics? Hmm. I mean, they will be useful if my enemies here align with the continent. Yeah, we're going to accept this one. Here are my new troops. Now, 
Did Durham align themselves with Lancaster? Yes, they did. I'm not going to accept the royal marriage offer. It is a bit of a waste. Especially if I plan on attacking them. Okay, this is what I was afraid of. Um, that is for 20 years of plus 20 unrest. Damn, there is no way I can afford to do this. Um, or I can go with yearly papal influence minus one until the year 3017. I guess this has extended timeline in it. Um, you know what? Fuck them. I'm gonna go with Protestant, maybe. Northumberland is sent as an insult. Well, whatever. Who have you allied with? Dublin and Durham. Oh my god, that is gonna be such an easy war if I can just get this. I need 25 uh, power projection to... not power projection, bloody um, spy network to fabricate a claim on Darby because I already have the claim on Warwick. Which is fine. Now, we are not gaining much money right now, so while we wait, I'm going to pop my army maintenance down. Uh, so now I'm getting a bit of money. And you can be mothballed. Uh, my fleet isn't all that strong, so you're going to go home at war. Did that actually click? Yes, it did. Okay. Now, we're just waiting on these claims. Let's see, are you claiming anything yet? Bit of autosave lag. You haven't claimed anything. You've allied yourself with quite a lot of the continent, Normandy and Brittany. You've allied yourself with Picardy. That'll be, like I said, if I ally myself with Flanders, they can help against Picardy. I'm obviously allied with the only, um, Wales is allied with Northumberland and Antrim. That's going to be an interesting combo. Ooh, looks like you're going to get Cornwall. Okay. Uh, Scotland allied with Antrim and Ligon. I lived in Ireland for quite some time, but um, Irish pronunciations are something of a mystery to many. But regardless, we have enough to get our claim on Durham. Very nice. And while we are waiting for the last bit of um, spy network, we are going to claim Darby. Now, you have allied with Dublin and Durham. So... I can probably call him in as a co-belligerent without too much problems. In the past few test games, uh, Lancaster has allied with Wales, and those two together are actually quite powerful. Right. I just need one more tick to get up to full. I want to check this again. Dublin and Durham. That is not a powerful combo. Though Dublin does have quite a bit of development, it's not really enough to worry me. Do I want to get you? Cost me one monthly. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford that. Richard, you're in charge. Let's check the rivers. Leeds and Northumberland. That's not a bother. We can attack from York. Hopefully we'll get an early stack wipe. And we will go from there. Get my last month's tick first. And so on the 1st of April, we are declaring war. Bring in Lancaster as a co belligerent. Arch. We will see our boats. Return to the harbor. Aha! I should have been watching that. Okay. Um, we gained Battlefield Medic, reinforced speed. That's nice, I'll take that. 
And we got an easy stack wipe with only losing a thousand men. Right. Leeds is hills. I don't particularly want to attack him there. What is your leader? Um You are three two two. I bought mercenaries. I didn't even realise I bought mercenaries. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, maybe we wait, we let him siege Leeds, and then when he moves on York, we will move on York. Because that's definitely his next target. Either that, or he can move back into here or into Derby. I'd much rather attack him in Derby than Leeds. Only a minus one, but I don't want to lose too many troops. Got a good manpower stock. Maybe we can even leave a, uh, a unit here. Okay, where are you going? You're going to Lincoln. Okay, so where are the rivers going into Lincoln? Uh, it seems like a lot. Cambridge, uh, Leicester, Norfolk, Derby, Leeds, and York. Okay, so there's rivers all over the bloody place. That's fine. We're just going to march. We're going to take the river crossing because we have more movement, more maneuver even. Yep, we are going to catch him. Here we go, we'll slip down for the battle, we won't miss this one. Oh yeah. We are wrecking face. Oh, this is going to be a crush. Be sweet if I got a stack wipe. Oh, and I did! I was not actually expecting a stack wipe. Holy crap, that is awesome. Okay, let's count. I can't get here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let the day go. Yeah, there we go. Um, the mercenaries, I'm actually going to disband. Okay. Three, seven. You can go there. I think that is enough yet. Gonna pop one on every province just to stop them from recruiting. And let's see. Want the speed back up to three, I think. You will be finished on the 20th of July. You're going to get there on the 20th of June. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to get this army to go down and stand in Warwick. So I can't get down here, unfortunately. Losing 188 a month. That's not good. I don't care that it's not sieging. I just don't want them to... Uh, Recruit plus I'm gonna get I've got plenty of uh, manpower, so Shouldn't be too much of a bother with reinforcing Though they are not reinforcing Okay, pop over there Get this one de-sieged first Yeah, okay 15th of October. That's not gonna be fast enough. I'm gonna get this Suppose you can pop over to Derby. Here they are recruiting troops. Fifteenth of October. Yeah, get this way before. Move up to there. Noble in the York family with a weak claim becomes heir. Or five ducats. Five ducats. All right. In the um, ideas mod that I have, um, you start with an idea group unlocked. Um, I don't want to start with economic though. We are going to go with propaganda. Now I'll quickly go over it. Monthly war exhaustion is great. 
diplomat, great, improve relations, uh, diplomatic reputation, cost to fabricate claims, unjustified demands, and uh, loyalty increase and morale of armies, and the finisher is a manpower increase. It's a great idea to go with first, so we're going to go with it. Ta-da! Okay. Now, we are not going to be able to finish the war in this episode. So I think what I'm going to do now is take a quick break, and then in the next episode we will win this war, and we will go from there. Thanks for watching guys, I shall see you next time.